Hey, babe. Simon, you barely ever text during work hours. What a wonderful surprise. And how's my future bride doing? I hope your boss isn't being a thorn in your side again. Thank God he's not. I don't think I'd be able to handle anything that would upset me now. Why is that? I'm tired as it is. The door is still open, my love. What door? Let me guess, the door for me to remain a stay-at-home wife? You are ever so smart. Thank you, my darling. But once again, I'm not interested in that, at least not now. Maybe later on then? I love you so much, Simon, but I really don't want to discuss this. I'm mentally exhausted as it is. Well, I'm about to change that. I have news. Good news, to be precise. Oh, my interest has peaked. What's the good news all about? I happened to have a discussion with one of your relatives just this morning. Really? Is it Uncle Stuart? He has a good heart, but he can be pretty nosy. No, guess again. I don't know, Simon. Please, just tell me who it is. You've never been the type to like suspense. I'm glad you know me so well. So, which of my relatives did you talk to? I can't wait to hear how happy you are when I tell you. I talked to your father. I was surprised to see him. That can't be possible. I don't have a father. I'm sure of what I'm saying, Jenna. A man came into my office to discuss with me earlier today. He said he was your father. I'm sure of what I'm saying as well. It's simply impossible. Jenna, wait, is this a trick? It must be Uncle Stewart's doing. No, it's not a trick. I see. Let me humor you then, my love. What exactly did my father look like? You have his eyes, that's for sure. Sure, whatever you say. What else? Unlike you, he has dark hair, and he's paler than you are. You got most of your mom's genes, didn't you? That's right. When I was growing up, my grandma would tell me that I was the spitting image of my mom. I guessed as much. Do you believe me now? Of course not. Anyone could have come up with that. That's true, but I'm at work, Jenna. I don't have the time to toy with your emotions like this. Then stop doing so. I'm not the one that sent an upsetting message first. Okay, all jokes aside, I was being serious when I said your dad came to see me. Not this again. Simon, I told you I'm tired, didn't I? Why don't you want to hear me out? Why don't you want to drop this? Hold on, I just realized something. And what might that be? Let me guess, my dead mom came to see you as well? Your sarcasm isn't appreciated, Jenna. Anyway, I just realized that you've never spoken to me about your dad. I've asked in the past, but you always changed the subject. That's because, and I can't say this enough, he doesn't exist. I'm sick of going around in circles, Jenna. Are you telling me that I was lied to, or worse still, that I dreamt him up? You must have. Those scenarios seem more believable than my father showing up at your office. Jesus, I can't believe this. You could find out who the man was and demand that he explains himself. I can't believe you think I'm lying to you about something this serious. I didn't say that, my love. I actually believe you were lied to. Stop, just stop, Jenna. Are you mad at me? I haven't done anything wrong. I'm just telling you the truth. I understand, but listen to me. I just want to recount my encounter with the man who may or may not be your dad. Is that okay? If that will make you feel better, then it's fine by me. It will. I was in my office this morning when my secretary, Lucia, called. She told me that a man in his 50s was looking for me. Okay. At first, I was surprised. But I came out to see him anyway. I chose not to let him into my office at first. Did you think he was dangerous? There was that possibility. I saw him in the lobby. He was still standing in front of Lucia. I then introduced myself to him. Go on. And that's when I saw his eyes, Jenna. I thought for sure that I was losing it, but after a few formalities, he told me he was your father. And you believed him straight away? Well, like I said, you two have the same eyes. I told him to come into my office, and he said he wanted to get a chance to talk to you before our wedding. I don't know much about all of this, but I could tell he's a father who wants to be there for his daughter. He might just be some random person who found out about our wedding and decided to shoot his shot. A person can never know these things. Now you're being unrealistic. Richard, humble as he looked, didn't look or sound like the kind of person to take advantage of the situation. His name is Richard? Yes. I don't want to see that man. Why not? What's the problem? It's your turn to hear me out, Simon. I listen to you, so you listen to me now. I will, but you sound strange, honey. Are you sure you're okay? 
I'm not okay. I do not want to see that man, especially not at our wedding. You finally believe me? After you mentioned his name? Yes. He just wants to talk, Jenna. What's the harm in that? I want nothing to do with a man who abandoned both me and my mom when we needed him most. I didn't have a father then. I don't want one now. Oh, Jenna. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. It's fine. As long as you don't talk about him anymore. I won't. I'm sorry. I have to go now. I have some work left to do, and I need to take some aspirin. I'll talk to you in a few hours, okay? Okay, Jenna. Take care of yourself. Bye, my love. I can't believe you abandoned your daughter, Richard. Why on earth did you come to me after doing such a despicable thing? I'm guessing you talked to Jenna about this. And from your messages, your discussion didn't go well. Of course it didn't. I should never have taken your number or talked to you in the first place. I'm only glad that it didn't cause problems between me and Jenna. I need you to hear me out, Simon. What? And why would I do that? I know Jenna has told you her truth, but you should also hear my side of the story. What good would that do? Jenna isn't going to listen to anything I say as long as it involves you. She's just as stubborn as her mother. I should have known it would be hard to get her to see me. I wouldn't want to see you either, Richard. You can't exactly blame Jenna. True. But my daughter only knows what her mother fed her. She should hear from me as well. Fed her? Maybe I shouldn't be talking to you after all. You could just be a bitter old man seeking to ruin another life. Please don't contact me again or I'll be forced to take action. Please, Simon, hear me out. Perhaps I'm a bitter old man, but I just want a chance to talk to my daughter. If you decide that being away from Jenna is what's best for her after hearing what I have to say, I'll leave. You have five minutes to explain yourself, Richard, and you had better make it worth my time. Guess what, Simon? My boss and I had another argument today. I talked to him about making me work late without extra pay, and he told me to suck it up. I'm so sorry to hear that, Jenna. I also have something important to discuss with you. You may not like it, but it has to be done. Is this about Richard again? I thought we agreed not to discuss this ever again. We did, but that was before getting to know a few things. Talk to Richard, Jenna. I can promise you that you won't regret it. I can't believe this. Jenna, please, just try to be open-minded and talk to him. So you're saying I'm not open-minded? You know that's not what I meant. We've been engaged for three years, Simon. We barely ever argue, and when we do, one of us ends up conceding to the other for the sake of our relationship. In this case, it will have to be you, because I will not be talking to that man. Jenna, please. Why are you taking his side? You barely know him. That's true, but I want you to be happy. And this isn't about taking sides. I'm helping a man who's been ignored by his daughter every time he tried reaching out to her. Of course I ignored him. Richard did try to contact me a few times, yes, but there was no point in conversing with him. I know all there is to know. Why would you do that? Richard has a few things he wants to tell you. They're very important, and I would have done it instead, but it's not my place. Trust me on this. I do trust you, but I don't trust him. So the answer is still no. Okay, I've tried my best. I guess I'll just tell Richard that the daughter he was separated from wants nothing to do with him. It will break his heart, but there's nothing more I can do. What do you mean by separated from? I told you he abandoned my mother and I when I was little. That's all I can say, Jenna. If Richard's lying, you should set him straight by talking to him. You know, it's also an opportunity to kick him out of your life once and for all. I can see through all of that. You're only trying to get me to have a conversation with that man. Yes, I am. But like I said, trust me on this. I have a feeling that things will turn out in the best way possible. All right, I'll talk to Richard. He seems relentless, better now than later. I'll send him your number right now. I'm glad you made this decision, Jenna. I can only hope I don't regret it. Tell Richard I'll talk to him later tonight, when I'm home. I will. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a safe trip home, my love. What did you do, Jenna? I tried reaching out to Richard, but he's not taking his calls or replying to his messages. I didn't do anything much. I just told him that nothing he was going to say would change our relationship. I advised him to give up and go on with his sad life without me in it. 
Is this really you, Jenna? You're not this cruel. I felt bad saying all that, but I can't forgive him after ruining my mother's life. I guess talking about Richard just brings out the worst in me. Oh my god, did you hear him out? Did you at least listen to what he had to say? I didn't give him an opportunity to say anything. Now that this is done and over with, can we just forget about Richard? I know I must seem like a heartless person for saying all these things, Simon. I just can't help it. You don't know what my mother had gone through. I told myself I wouldn't interfere, but you leave me no choice. Have you ever considered that your mom was the reason you never got to know your dad? He succeeded in brainwashing you, Simon. Stop siding with that man. You'll have to hear me out, Jenna. Your mom left your dad years ago because he couldn't take care of the both of you. Apparently, he'd lost his only source of income and your mom couldn't bear to struggle anymore. That's a lie Richard fabricated. I know for a fact that my mom left Richard because he didn't care about us. Richard was always involved in one terrible thing or the other and she was sick of it. And who told you all of this? My mom, of course. My point exactly. Your mom twisted the story to her advantage. She must have known you would want to be with Richard if you knew the truth. Stop it, Simon. It's too early for this. I'm doing this for you, Jenna. You should know that I'll always look out for you, even though it may not seem that way. Be logical, Simon. You knew my mother for two years before she passed away. She always welcomed you whenever you came over. I agree. Mary was a wonderful woman. So why on earth would you believe that she's the guilty party? Because I have proof. Richard had shown me the conversations he'd had with your mom. I also got to listen to voice messages he'd received from her. Those don't mean anything. There's also the note your mom left Richard when she left with you all those years. I'm sure all of that is fake. My mom told me to steer clear of Richard because he was trouble. She was right. Richard is causing us to argue. We're arguing because you refuse to listen to the other side of the story. I understand that it'll be hard for you to accept anything different from what you grew up knowing. That's why all I want is for you to listen. I never said you should accept Richard's story. You want me to listen, huh? I'll listen, all right. Let's hear how creative Richard got. You might end up having to swallow your words, my love. Richard got fired from his job when you were just three years old. He wasn't able to provide for a while. My mom always did refer to him as a deadbeat. I'm guessing this was why. Richard did get involved with bad people and he did do bad things. He admitted to doing all of that. But that was all so that he'd be able to feed you and Mary. Uh-huh, and? Mary got sick of seeing him unemployed. They had multiple arguments because of it. One day, Richard came home to an empty house and a note in the one-bedroom apartment you lived in when you were little. That can't be true. My mom told me she'd left because Richard was a bad influence. She also said Richard was verbally abusive and it hit her a few times. That's not what I heard. It's the other way around, actually. Richard told me that Mary was the abusive partner in their marriage. He'd only hit her once when he was sick of it and regrets doing so. No, I don't think I want to listen to any more of this. Richard fed you lies and you're eating them up. Richard tried to be in your life, but Mary didn't let him. She told him to steer clear from you. Richard told me Mary had said a lot of things to him and that he eventually decided to stop trying. Simon, I'm getting sick of all of this. When he found out that Mary had passed away, he tried contacting you. He stood in front of my apartment building and tried talking to me. I thought he was a junkie, but when he said his name, I knew he was worse. You really should stop saying things like that. Richard doesn't deserve it. Enough! I'd expect that, as my fiancé, you'd stick by me all the time. Instead, you're siding with a master manipulator. I sent some of the voice messages to your email. I also sent some of their conversations along with a photo of the note Mary left Richard. I really believe Mary as nice as she appeared to be, tried to ruin your relationship with Richard. What? I, I'm not going to engage you anymore. I need some time alone, Simon. Not only are you hurting me, you're also tainting the memories I have of my dead mom. I'm trying to shed some light on the truth. I understand if you don't want some time to yourself. I've done the best I can. The rest is up to you. You have Richard's number, just in case. Goodbye, Simon. I feel very conflicted at the moment and I don't know why. I can only hope that Richard didn't ruin what we had. Hi Simon, can we talk? Of course, it's been a while. How have you been, Jenna? Emotionally drained. 
I feel like I've been living a lie. Richard and I have been in contact these past few days. Are you being serious? Yes, I am. Don't act all surprised. <laughs> I'm just very happy, my love. I was going to support whatever decision you ended up making, but I'm glad you chose this. How has it been talking to Richard? Strange, I never grew up with a dad. Richard is also adjusting. He told me he doesn't know what to say to me most times. He's just glad I don't hate him. I'm glad too. I'm guessing this means he's invited to the wedding? Maybe, I, I haven't thought about that yet. All right, just let me know what you decide to do. I knew about all of this, by the way. What? You already knew I decided to give Richard a chance? Yes, he called me yesterday to thank me for my help. I see. Do you want him to be at our wedding? I would love for that to happen, but it's your decision. He's your father, after all. Okay, then. The wedding is still two months away. There's time for me to decide. I have to go now. Work beckons. All right. Take care of yourself, Jenna. And try not to get into an argument with your boss again. I'll try. And Simon? Yes, my love? Thank you. For everything. I can't believe I'm getting married to such an amazing person. I love you so much. I love you too. <laughs> Richard ended up attending our wedding. He even got to walk Jenna down the aisle. Jenna looked so happy to have him by her side. I'm glad things worked out. Richard comes over every Sunday now. We have lunch together and he tells us tales of his life alone. Jenna teases him about doing it to make her feel bad, but I can tell she wishes she'd accepted him into her life earlier. I'm just glad to see that Jenna and my father-in-law have a strong bond. One I hope isn't going to end anytime soon.